briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1996 case, Symphony Space, Inc. v. Pergola Properties, Inc., the New York Court of Appeals focused on the principle that landowners cannot control real property for an indefinite amount of time, as it violates the rule against perpetuities. The case involved a disputed option agreement for a commercial property in Manhattan, which included a theater and commercial space owned by Broadwest Realty Corporation. The theater was operating at a loss and remained vacant, while Symphony Space, a not-for-profit arts organization, had rented the theater for a few one-night engagements. In 1978, Symphony purchased the entire building from Broadwest at a below-market price of $10,010 and leased back the commercial space, excluding the theater, to Broadwest. Symphony also granted Broadwest an option to repurchase the entire building for $10. However, the court found that the option was unenforceable due to violating a legal rule against remote vesting. The court ruled that the option agreement could not be enforced because it violated the rule against perpetuities. Furthermore, Symphony had the right to redeem the mortgage. Due to a mistake of law resulting from a lack of diligence, restitution could not be claimed. Unenforceability of options under this rule always defeated the party's intent. Rescission, a discretionary remedy in equity, was a factor in the court's decision. Ultimately, the appellate division's order was affirmed, and the certified question was answered in the affirmative. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.